The answer is, well, not true. Performance did drop, unfortunately, but there's more to the story. This is FPS Inspect, and I recently got a tip to try out OBS Replay Buffer thanks to Kazi. The Replay Buffer is pretty much NVIDIA Shadow Play, but for OBS. NVIDIA Shadow Play, for any newbie out there, captures your game highlights instead of the entire session, which obviously saves hard drive space. This is done by pressing a single key on your keyboard, like F8 for example, and it will save the last minutes of what has already happened. Basically, if I get a nice 1D, I can go, oh my gaben, press F8 and capture that single moment instead of recording the entire game. Which, by the way, a lot of people do. So if you're not one of them, you're weird. Now the other one called OBS Replay Buffer is pretty much Nvidia Shadow Play, but for OBS. This means that you can take advantage of all of OBS's features and customization options and still use something very similar to Shadow Play. And because OBS works with Face It's Anti Cheat, if you create a game capture source, it wins on that aspect against Shadow Play because it doesn't work on Face It, at least for me and for many others. It's almost as if Face It doesn't allow Shadow Play and wants you to use their own feature. Hmm. Setting up Replay Buffer in OBS is a walk in the park. Under the Output tab, click Advanced, go to Replay Buffer, enable it, and choose the amount of seconds that you want your PC to capture. I'll just use 60 seconds. The memory is going to be stored inside your RAM. So in order to do this, uh, you'll want to download more RAM. Next, make sure your recording settings are Gucci. I use these for now, then start the replay buffer. The replay buffer will now continuously record the last 60 seconds of your stream and keep it in your computer memory. When you hit the replay buffer hotkey, which you need to configure inside the options of OBS, it will take those last 60 seconds and save it as a video file. So using OBS replay buffer is just like using shadow play with more customizations, more output settings, and it even works properly with face it and ESEA. Sounds almost too good to be true, right? Well, if you didn't skip the video, stop skipping the video guys. And if you followed me from the beginning, you should know the main downside by now. After my benchmarks, I noticed a performance decrease using OBS replay buffer compared to shadow play. Not only that, but I could also feel a tiny bit of input lag being introduced as well. Yikes. I even played around with the recording settings to see what worked best so I could eliminate all that funky input lag, but yeah, it came down to this and I'm still feeling it. Shadow play is king when it comes to keeping your performance on top. Probably because it's exclusively made to work with Nvidia cards. I mean, if Shadowplay worked fine with Face It, then I probably wouldn't even look for another alternative. But if you can live with the performance drop of OBS Replay Buffer, then it is a beautiful alternative. You don't even need an Nvidia card to appreciate the option. Even alone, considering its functionality and customization, OBS Replay Buffer is pretty awesome. But of course, not using any capture software at all is going to give you the best FPS boost. Let me know what you think of this series down below. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Stay awesome guys and go bananas.